incredible crazy days. All right, so today we're here with Greg with this amazing new SRT Viper. going to tell us uh, tell us about this so Greg talk to us about um, this Viper itself and then we'll get a little bit into your uh, automotive history because that's always key uh, and uh, then you're gonna do a little walk around on this bad boy so tell us about this car this is a special model this is the GTS in striker green they only did 33 of the Vipers in striker green in 2014 and it's it's got all of the factory options in terms of carbon fiber, upgraded interior, track package, uh, dual mode suspension. So the wheels, um, uh, this is uh, this is kind of a new wheel for, uh, was this for the uh, 13, 14 model year or? This is a new wheel. Starting in 2013, this is their lightweight track wheel mm -hmm. called the Sidewinder okay. in vapor black finish. And it does have the track package with the two piece stop tech rotors. Excellent. And um, uh, this interesting thing is when I was standing behind the car earlier, I saw the width of these tires, which are ginormous. I thought the Aventador had wide, not wide tires, but Oh my God, look at the size of those things. 355s. Uh, wow. And so what, it, what are, were the big changes for the new SRT Viper going from the old? This is the redesigned uh, uh, version, right? Which is a, really a modern interpretation of the last Viper. And I, I mean, I remember this car just being absolutely awed, in awe by what it looks like um, you know, when it first came out. Of course, that was truly a track car with no drive today. This is actually a bit more drive today. Right? This is a whole new car from top to bottom. Um, they've they've cut the weight by almost 300 pounds. They've upped the horsepower. Um, almost all of the body is carbon fiber except for the doors. Uh, there's a five mode traction control, which is completely defeatable for the purists. Uh, there's two mode adjustable shocks with a street and a race mode. Um, biggest thing that, that drew me to the car was the interior. They put a, an honest uh, luxury supercar interior on this vehicle. And, and really? the Striker Green. Well, let's take a look at it. So uh, let's take a look on the interior. Unique to the Striker Viper is the Striker plate they put on the dash. Uh, the other models have uh, a GTS or an SRT plate on the dash. Uh, but they give you that with the striker. Um, the interior of the car is completely new from head to toe. Every surface has been touched with either leather or carbon fiber. You can see some of the carbon fiber elements. Uh, it's all hand stitched and it does have an Al Alcantara suede headliner as well. And we talked about the electronics. Uh, full 8 inch touchscreen monitor now. Uh, for climate control, audio, navigation, phone, Bluetooth, and your performance pages, which you can monitor uh, real time G Force, uh, your, all of your vehicle's gauges, and real time horsepower and torque meter. There's a full gauge meter. There's also a uh, real-time G-meter uh, right into the speedometer cluster so you don't have to take your eyes off the, the dash or the road. Um, another new feature on the 2013-2014 Vipers is launch control that they've never had which uh, is, aids in getting the extremely fast 0-60 to 60 times. a display of street optimized shocks or race optimized shock tuning uh, adjustable on the fly and then there's your, your G 
meter. Did you catch the yeah. striker logo? When you hit red line, the striker logo comes up in the middle of the um, RPM gauge. The other interesting thing, which I think is so distinctive about this car, is the new headlights and the daytime running headlights, right? So talk to us about that, because, oh my God, seeing this car, even just coming down here, being in front of it, and looking at it in the rear view mirror is like, you know, it gives you chills. It's such an amazing car. So talk to us about what they did with the front end. And, and you know, to me, when I look at this, I see everything of a snake, of a viper. And even down to the docks that are on the front, too. So talk to us about, about those kinds of the things. The new headlights right. definitely look like snake eyes. And they do have LED uh, running Run lights, lights yeah. around the headlights that are on all the time now to give it just a, a venomous look. Um, and they've gone to twin HID projector headlights as well. Oh yeah, so the headlights themselves have been upgraded. Uh, and these are functional uh, brake ducts now, right? Functional these carbon here. fiber brake ducts. Yeah, yes. that's awesome. And carbon fiber splitters down low. Down low. And this is actually the SRT hood. There are two hood options oh, really? on the Viper. Um, GTS hood only has two of the heat outlets on it, but I thought the the SRT hood looked more aggressive. I see. So, so you have the option of that's, getting uh, that's so an you, option. So, so this is the SRT hood you have right. on here. Gotcha. So what, what's it? We'll say it again. What's the difference between the GTS and the SRT hood? The, the, the GTS, GTS it just has two I heat see. outlets up. There. I see. Oh, instead of the three. Instead of the three. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Man, it just looks, it looks mean. Look at it from the front end. I mean, we're in the shade here a little bit, but oh my God, it's like a snake in the grass. Literally, it's a snake in the grass. All right, so can we take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the engine and then we'd uh, love to get some audio of it revving from the outside. So let's take a look at the engine bay here. Yes. The carbon fiber elements are worth noting on yeah. the car. The doors are hydroformed aluminum. Every other panel on this car is carbon it's fiber. Carbon fiber. And so they've the hood, left it, everything yeah, else. They've left it exposed on oh. the inner side that I'll show oh, you. Oh, excellent. Oh, there's the heart of the beast. So tell us the engine in this is a... V 640. Uh, horsepower 8.4 liter V10. Uh, the engine's covers come painted red from the factory. I had them custom matched in the striker green. Strike. The X brace comes from the factory as an aluminum X brace, and SRT offers an upgraded carbon fiber X brace. It's just beautiful. You can see the, the hole in the Oh, side yeah, the, the exposed, exposed carbon, carbon fiber on the inside. That is just beautiful. Such a clean, huge. Uh, intake there it is v10 8.4 liter and uh, again some massive great looking suspension uh, arms here up front and that's these massive massive uh, uh, wheels wow all right so uh, let's uh, let's start her up a little bit and let's uh, get uh, listen to the exhaust note here and um, get a couple of uh, parting words so the handle is on top there Let's see the startup sequence here. See the dash. Very cool. Wow, that is just. I can't imagine. I mean, well, I can because you know this V10 with this exhaust, and I, I heard it on the road, even coming down through some of the tunnels. And it was just amazing to hear this thing. So, uh, yeah, let's let's uh, talk a, about a, a few more things, and then we can wrap it up. So, tell us about uh, Greg your car history here, because um, uh, you didn't just jump into this Viper. There. Tell us about the cars that you've had before, and how did you decide that this is to, to uh, buy this very subtle car? <laughs> 
Going way back, I've owned various sports cars, some Corvettes. Um, finally, I switched to my first Viper back in 95, mm -hmm. which was the first generation, a very crude car. Cool, yeah, it was basically a track car that they put on the street. It, it was. It had was. very little driver's aid, very little, it didn't but it power nothing, actually. No windows. Yeah, uh, that's right. No, no exterior door handles, uh, but it was a fun driver's car. I um, owned that for several years until I finally made my switch to the 2009 uh, Viper Coupe, the fourth generation car, which was a dramatic improvement. improvement. And what, uh, col that, what color was that one? That was Viper Red. Yeah, that was red. As, as was the And we've seen that one at a couple of our other Cars and Coffee events before and previously. I don't know, it's in, on my channel, so go check that out. It, and it, it was a great car. Um, power, they, they had refined suspension on the transmission, but it still lacked any kind of real interior and actually had only power brakes was the only driver's aid. Uh, so in 2013 when they released the fifth generation, I immediately fell in love with the car uh, based on the interior and some of the defeatable options that were going to be on the car now in terms of driver's aid, traction okay. control. Um, and I had heard that they were going to offer the various internal and external carbon fiber elements, but they didn't release them until 2014. So I was waiting because yeah. I really wanted those. Ooh. Yeah. And then uh, it was only about six months ago they released the Striker Green color, and they were going to do a run of a maximum of 50. Actually, only ended up doing 33. Yeah. And when I saw this color, I knew this was yeah, a car for me. It. So, um, so you, you're give, you were giving me a, a few interesting tidbits that a lot of people probably don't know about uh, the Viper. Of course, uh, you know there's a transition that's going to be happening again pretty soon from the it was Dodge before it became SRT or Zerone division, and there's some changes now. So tell us about what's happening there, and you know what, and, and tell us about life in the sort of the Viper community too, because I'm sure you're you're in touch with online these folks who are also enthusiasts of this brand. The, the, the point to be made is the Viper is going to live on. Uh, forever it had been under the Dodge uh, yeah. umbrella. SRT, which is street racing technology, uh, had, had split off under the leadership of Ralph Gilles and uh, manufactured the Viper as their flagship and a couple other vehicles. After a, a run of 2013 and 2014, uh, they've made the, the decision to take SRT back under the Dodge umbrella, uh, uh, tag the car a Dodge Viper again. So for only two years, will the Viper be known as an SRT, SRT. Viper? Oh, that no, probably makes this very special too, I would imagine. I, I Long term. Long term, yeah. exactly. There's no Dodge badge on, on this, this car. Thing. That is amazing. So uh, if you had to you know, we have a lot of uh, young members uh, that are enthusiasts on our channel. You're pretty young. Tell me, what would you say to them? Uh, well, look, tell me this. What would you say to them in terms of, you know, getting to a point where, yeah, they can go and buy a car like this. And then more importantly, um, what's some parting words for them uh, for a car like this? Say somebody's interested in buying this car. What's the one or two sentences that would say, this is the reason why you ought to get this car. Never give up the dream. Uh, it's, it's worth the wait to, to finally acquire a Viper. It's, uh, it's, it's pure elation, driving bliss. Every time you get in, no matter how bad your day is, when you get behind the wheel of the Viper, it all goes away. I can smile. see the smile, just so you talking about it. You're, you look at that broad grin on your face. Yeah, because it is true, it comes through. This is my 2014 Striker Green SRT Viper GTS, and you've met the beast on Supercars Personified. Excellent. Beautiful, beautiful car. All right, guys, till next time, this is Dr. M3 with Supercars Personified. Cheers. Tell us what's different now, perhaps compare and contrast with yeah, the... Yeah, uh,
with the one-to-one? -one? So the one-to-one the -one was a very successful program. Even before we showed the first car, we had sold all six of them. Yeah. It's interesting because Lamborghini is probably one of the only companies that can actually pull off this color on a car even this size, right? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, so you picked this up. You've had a bunch of other cars before other Lamborghinis. This is my fourth Lamborghini. This is your fourth Lamborghini. So tell us, how, how did you decide that not only you're going to get the 640, but the 640 in this amazing pearlescent...